Damage to cells and tissues, for whatever reason, results in nociceptive pain, inflammation and possibly fever due to the release of chemical mediators known as prostaglandins by the affected tissues. These prostaglandins are produced by two forms of cyclooxygenase enzymes, known as COX-1 and COX-2, from precursor molecules known as arachidonic acid. The prostaglandins produced by COX-1 are generally responsible for the maintenance and protection of the gastrointestinal tract, kidneys and other organs, while those produced from COX-2 are predominantly related to inflammation and pain responses. The prostaglandins that are released stimulate nearby nerve endings, resulting in pain signals being transmitted to the brain via the spine. NSAIDs mainly work by competitively inhibiting the production of prostaglandins from the COX enzymes. In the case of ibuprofen, this occurs by the drug competing for the substrate binding sites on both enzymes. This occurs both at the site of the pain and in the central nervous system. As the production of prostaglandins diminishes, the intensity of the pain signals being sent to the brain diminishes. Therefore, NSAIDs such as ibuprofen target the source of pain by lowering levels of prostaglandins predominantly at local sites, with some activity also in the central nervous system.